Some people lose weight slower than others after workouts, and a research team from Kobe University has found a reason. They discovered that certain signal molecules, which respond specifically to short-term exercise, play a crucial role in regulating the body's energy metabolism. This breakthrough could pave the way for new obesity treatments. The research team focused on a protein known as PGC-1A, which links exercise to its effects on the body. They found that there are different versions of this protein, named B and C, which are produced in muscles more than tenfold during exercise. These versions are crucial for regulating energy metabolism, unlike the conventional A version. PGC-1A, or peroxisome proliferator activated receptor gamma coactivator 1-alpha, is a protein that has been previously linked to exercise and its effects. However, the role of its different versions was not well understood. The new versions, B and C, are produced in significantly higher amounts during exercise, suggesting they play a key role in how the body responds to physical activity. To test their hypothesis, the researchers created mice that lacked the B and C versions of PGC, 1A, but still had the A version. They measured the mice's muscle growth, fat burning, and oxygen consumption during rest, and both short-term and long-term workouts. They also recruited human test subjects, including those with type 2 diabetes, to undergo similar tests. The mice that lacked the B and C versions of PGC, 1A consumed less oxygen and burned less fat during workouts. This made them more susceptible to gaining weight. The lack of these versions meant the mice did not adapt to short-term exercise stimuli, highlighting the importance of these specific protein versions. In humans, the research team found that individuals who produced more of the B and C versions of PGC, 1A consumed more oxygen and had lower body fat percentages. This was true for both healthy individuals and those with type 2 diabetes. This finding supports the hypothesis that genes and skeletal muscle determine susceptibility to obesity. Understanding the role of the different versions of PGC-1A could lead to new treatments for obesity. Currently, anti-obesity drugs focus on suppressing appetite, but there are no drugs that increase energy expenditure. If a substance that boosts the production of the B and C versions of PGC-1A can be found, it could lead to the development of drugs that enhance energy expenditure during exercise or even without it. The team is now conducting further research to understand the mechanisms that lead to the increased production of the B and C versions of PGC, 1A, during exercise. They are also exploring how these versions affect fat tissues and the body's ability to tolerate cold. This research could provide more insights into how to manipulate these protein versions to treat obesity effectively. The discovery of the different versions of PGC, 1A, and their role in energy metabolism during exercise is a significant breakthrough. It not only helps explain why some people lose weight slower than others, but also opens up new avenues for treating obesity. The future looks promising as researchers continue to explore this exciting field.